So years ago, a friend of mine said to me, to be is to be anxious. And I think that's probably right. You know, we, we spend a lot of time being worried and fearful and maybe, maybe even terrified, anxious. Somebody said to me uh, two days ago, you know, I'm, I have so much anxiety about this situation. And I found myself saying, you know, anxiety happens when we've forgotten to delight in the present moment. And I think that's true. But delighting means to be thrilled, to be charmed, to be exhilarated, to be greatly pleased. It's not to delight in the things that are delightful, but in everything, to delight in what is. I, was, I spent some time at my brother's house a couple weeks ago, I guess, and, and I saw this uh, photograph, a wedding picture of my nephew, Brendan, and his wife, Clara. I did their wedding, I don't know how many years ago, in St. Louis. And uh, joyous picture, you know, and they're all dressed up. And they, um, uh, Brendan is all skinny and very pale and he's bald because he had just finished a really grueling regimen of chemotherapy just before the, before the ceremony. And weeks, uh, months of chemo leading up to the wedding. And I remember in the wedding vows saying good times and bad and sickness and in health and I could barely get through the vows. I was crying so hard. And the two of them were clear-eyed as I prompted them for their vows, good times and bad, sickness and in health. Uh, it was all delighting. It wasn't, let's be joyful in the good times and sad in the bad times. Let's uh, be terrified and anxious and worry and lament bad health. And let's uh, celebrate good health. There was none of that. It was delighting in what is, period. And I think that's sort of the key. If you don't do that, anxiety will move in. It'll fill in the blanks. It'll move into your house with all its baggage and all its relatives worry, terror, fear, and how do you keep it at bay? Uh, when I spoke recently in uh, Washington, D.C., at a conference af afterwards, a woman came up to me and she goes, I'm a cancer survivor too. And I looked at her and I knew what she would say to this uh, question I, or statement. I said, and neither of us would trade this moment in our lives for, for anything, would we? She goes, nope. She didn't hesitate, and neither did I. Also, uh, at that conference, uh, Sal and uh, Jose got up in front of 2,000 people, and they were terrified. But the reason why terror didn't impede them or get them stuck was because they chose, in spite of their fear and terror and speaking in front of 2,000 people, they chose to delight in what was right in front of them, all these people. And so they delighted in their telling of their own truth and they got a standing ovation. Not different really from, uh, this is, was widely celebrated and commented on on Facebook, when uh, Jose, who was, uh, let's just say, not a frequent flyer, and uh, was pretty terrified at the prospect of flying, and we hit a patch of turbulence and I fly a lot. It was about as bad as I've ever seen. And a woman was returning from the bathroom with her young child, and it's like, how is she going to get in her seat? Because it really was an extraordinary roller coaster. And in spite of his terror, he was sitting over there uh, in front of me. Uh, I watched him as he didn't care about his fear. He only cared about this woman and the baby trying to get into her seat. So he assisted the flight attendant as they're crawling on the floor trying to get her into her uh, seat belt and seat. So, yeah, true enough. To be is to be anxious. But anxiety happens when we've forgotten to delight in what is. What is right in front of us. This moment. This time. Amen. feels strange to hold the microphone like this, but apparently it works, so. Uh, Tomas Enriquez, where are you? So go ahead and lead us in prayer.
Uh, uh, bow your heads. Uh, Heavenly Father, we come before you today thanking you for all the blessings you have given us. Uh, we want to ask you to bless those who are taking their test today for the diplomas. Bless all our families. Bless those who are less fortunate than us. Uh, amen. Amen. amen.